you put your socks back, didn't you? Inside your... Uh, yeah, I did. I did, mate. Ugh. Hey, guys. <laughs> we are back in Wellington. Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. Beautiful, windy, windy place. Home of, of the Weta Workshop. Yeah, all the practical effects from Lord of the Rings. Weta Digital, you know, leading digital effects company of the world. Oh, Avatar. Avatar 2 is being shot right now in Wellington. Yeah, James Cameron and his crew of 52 men were allowed to come into New Zealand to start shooting because right now with COVID, Hollywood, oh, I can't remember. Oh, oh, oh. Hollywood is completely shut down and Avatar 2 is in pre-production. So they were able to get their visas and come over to New Zealand because New Zealand is probably the only place in the entire world right now where you can film a movie, a Hollywood movie. Avatar 2, that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so we're here in Wellington. I went off on a tangent. Last time we were here was back in February 2019. We've spent the last year and a half here on the North Island. When we first arrived in New Zealand, Wellington was our landing point. And then we hopped on the Inter-Island there, went south in December 2018, stayed there for two months, went around South Island, and then came back to the North Island back in February 2019. And we've been in the North Island ever since. Mittens is out and about. Oh, we didn't see mittens. That's unfortunate. Where's the, where's the last mittens sighting? An hour ago. Mittens is the probably the most famous New Zealander um, in the world right now. He's in the running to be New Zealander of the year. Yeah, like uh, more more famous than Jacinda. <laughs> more Bloomfield. famous than than the director general of health, uh, Ashley Bloomfield. More famous than Lucy Lawless, Lord and uh, Sam Neill combined. Mittens is like number one right now. And uh, there, he was nominated for New Zealander of the Year. It's just a local cat that goes around the, the, the city of Wellington and has become uh, sort of a cultural phenomenon, internationally renowned as far as um, so was Croatia? What were some of the countries? Croatia, Kazakhstan, Panama. Uh, if, if this is the first time you're hearing about Mittens, then uh, I recommend, yeah, that's Mittens right there. Cute. Uh, he is a Turkish Angora, and his royal floofness. Uh, he has. He's got an interesting story. Look, he's known for going into people's houses. Yeah, he'll go into uh, go into people's houses. He's very respectful. He pays attention to the crosswalk. But Rides elevators. Knows how to take the lift. Go on Facebook. the The Facebook group is called The Wondrous Adventures of Mittens. I'm gonna link it below. Uh, join the group, even if you're not from New Zealand. It's it's really interesting to see um, postings of him. He's kind of created a kind of a weird cult following, and it's just taken on an entire life of its own. The wondrous adventures of Mins. But we've got a fairy to catch. Could it be under any other last name? Uh, maybe Della. Paz? What was uh, that name? De La Paz, D-E. Oh, and have you got your photo IDs? Yes. Awesome. Cool. I'll Thank be you. back shortly with your boarding pass. Okay, cool. Yeah. There doesn't appear to be very many bathrooms, so uh, yeah, I want to drink water, but I also don't want to go pee. And if you do have to go piss, you'll have to walk down there somewhere. There's a bathroom. I guess don't don't show up too early. If it says final check in at twelve, just be there at twelve because you're gonna have to be you're gonna be sitting in your car for almost an hour. Yeah, only we didn't show up at ten because of you. Hey. I like to be early just to be sure that we don't miss the boat. Tractor. Yeah. 
Just got on the boat. It's about three to three and a half hours to cross the Cook Strait, and that boat will take us to Picton. And we should be leaving the boat very shortly. I do apologize for this uh, slight delay. delay. Uh, crossing down to uh, Picton is uh, three hours and a half, and the uh, current weather condition of Cook Strait. We got that light suddenly now. Although New Zealand <coughs> is in a really good situation with respect to coronavirus with the recent community outbreak that happened in Auckland putting them back into alert level three and the rest of the country in alert level two we were advised to uh, respect one meter distancing with other people and you, we noticed that there are a lot of tables here that have uh, uh, markers telling people uh, to not sit in these chairs or tables unless you know the person next to you Getting in those last shots of Wellington. I'm always gonna hold a special place in my heart for this city, city of Wellington. It's the first place where we uh, had our first memories of, of New Zealand. Uh, the starting point of it all. It's a bit sad to leave, uh, leave a city like Wellington, given the history that we have. Alright, so we're just nearing Picton right now. We're we'll starting sending people down. Oh, your phone, though. Is that your phone? Oh my god. <laughs> So we're gonna head down to our, our beloved Camry 2000. Thank you, our beloved Camry 2002 station wagon, so we can drive off this boat. We are going to try to secure a spot at one of the Freedom Campsites just outside of Picton. It's called Collins Reserve. A Freedom Campsite is basically a free campsite and New Zealand has hundreds of them. If you haven't seen my How to Travel New Zealand with no money video, I'll link it below. Check it out because you could save so much money on accommodation fees if you strategically plan your route based on these Freedom Campsites. Depending on the time of year, let's say it's high season, it could be difficult to secure a spot. It's first come, first serve. Right now, we're still in winter, end of the winter season, approaching spring, so I'm feeling confident that we'll be able to secure a spot. But look at this, see? You could, using the Rankers app, you could see that, holy crap, let's go to, let's go to the free ones. Free campsites. All of these are free campsites all over the great country of New Zealand. Thanks, Tito. Bye, Kuya. Salamat, Tito. Ingat. And a nice mole on his cheek. <laughs> Thank you, Tito. Thank you, Tita. <laughs> Mahal kita, Tita. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see? Thank you, Kuya. Salamat. Bye, Mari, brother. Here. Oh, raining. Nice rainy day in Picton. Oh, look, she looks pretty nice. This man? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Collins Memorial Reserve Freedom Campsite, 12 max. And there are only two camper vans. Yay! Hello fellow backpackers. <laughs> Hi backpackers. Hi. Hello backpackers. 